Hey, what is going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So this is one of those two part tutorials where we're going to design something in Illustrator like you see here and animate it in After Effects. And the reason why I'm breaking this up is because for those of you who might just be into graphic design, you don't have to watch the animation portion. And for those of you who do keep up my channel and watch my After Effects videos, this is what we'll be creating inside of After Effects in our part two of our video. And it's going to be sort of this calligraphic uh, design that can be used for like wedding title design um, and you know other creative things like that. So uh, what we'll do is we'll take a look at this here in Illustrator and I always suggest designing uh, a lot of stuff in Illustrator if you can do animation uh, just because it's a lot more intuitive and you can get things done a lot faster inside of Illustrator uh, instead of designing it in say After Effects. So without wasting any more time let's go ahead and start a new document by going to File New and uh, you know, 1920 by 1080 is good for me because that's what we're going to use for uh, inside of After Effects. So we'll just click OK. So let's start off by maybe dropping off some text in here. So I'm going to go grab the text title tool and we're just going to come in here and maybe type in some text. And I'm just going to use Sunduck. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to this drop down here and I'm going to pick a font that sort of has a script sort of feel. You might have to find some fonts on the internet. There's a ton of free fonts, but I'm going to go ahead and use the font Janda. And what's cool about Illustrator is that you can kind of see what you know, the font style looks like before you even select it. But I know Janda is what I'm going to use, so I'm going to go ahead and click that. And then I'm going to go back to the selection tool here, and I'm going to go here and kind of just you know stretch this up a little bit. And then we're going to go ahead and maybe change the color to white. And there's our font. And maybe go to the align tool here and kind of just center this stuff up. And if you don't have to see this window, go to window align. All right. And maybe I'll make this a little bit bigger as well okay so now we kind of just have a point of reference of what we can kind of create it's always good to create color graphic or something you know, kind of around what you want to do so let's go ahead and start creating that sort of design and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and grab the pencil tool which is here on the left and basically what we need to do is when the pencil tool is selected over here we need to double click the icon and this pencil tool options uh pops up here and typically if you've never done this before uh, your uh, the arrow here will be kind of in the middle so what you need to do is set this arrow all the way to the smooth side for fidelity and especially if you're doing this with the mouse like I am you definitely need to have this set to smooth um, and you know just everything else is fine and we'll click OK and with our pencil tool let's go ahead and click a point and hold down your left cursor and kind of just draw out a nice little design kind of like this kind of curvy and you know calligraphically like and as you can see, once we're done, it'll kind of draw out a path like this. Uh, if you don't have this perfect path, what you need to do is go here at the top, you know, maybe disable the fill and go to the stroke and set it to whatever color, have it set to white, and then maybe increase the stroke to uh, whatever uh, size that you want. So just like that, we kind of have a uh, calligraphic path. And then let's go back to our pencil tool and let's draw out a few more of these and kind of, you know, continue to create our design. And, you know, just keep it smooth. You know, don't do it extremely fast because things can get a little bit crazy. And uh, let's continue to build this out and, you know, just kind of do it nice and slow. If you have a tablet, this will obviously be a little bit more ideal. But, uh, you know, if you don't have one, no big deal because I'm using a uh, mouse right now and it's no big deal. And the thing about this design right now is that it's completely straight. Uh, you know, there's no variation in the width. So what we could do is maybe select all of our uh, design up here and we can go at the top here where it says uniform and we can do this drop down and we can kind of select one of these and as you see we'll get some variation in the width and it'll look pretty cool and you can go kind of go ahead and experiment with the look. Uh, you get a whole bunch of different widths uh, to work with. Um, the only thing about this is that if you're going to bring this over to After Effects to animate, unfortunately this is not a good thing to do just because it really won't be intuitive uh, to just place it right into After Effects and have an easy stroke animation. So if you're going to bring this over to After Effects, kind of just leave this at the uniform. You know, it's probably not going to be too big of a deal, but uh, if you're doing this for just uh, graphic design purposes, you know, you can kind of go here and play with the um, uh, the width a little bit. And there's also another thing I want to take a look at. If I zoom in here and we go ahead and grab the width tool, which is right over here, uh, we can also uh, manually adjust where we want, you know, places to be thick and places to be thin. So with the width tool selected, I can come here and I can increase the width of, say, this calligraphic, you know, automatically. And it looks pretty nice. I'm going to leave that, like, where it's at. And then we can go ahead and, you know, 
do whatever adjustments we want to make. If we don't like it, just undo it. Um, and, you know, things can be pretty cool from this point. Um, and, you know, I see maybe lift that up. And I like it. You know, I'm going to leave it at this just for tutorial purposes. And, you know, once we're done here, uh, we'll say we're done with, with this design on the top, what we can do is maybe select everything, maybe deselect our text by holding down shift. And what we can do is copy this and maybe go up to edit, paste in place, which is right here. And let's go ahead and go up to object, transform, reflect, and make sure the preview option is enabled so you can see what you're doing. And we want to flip it over the vertical axis. And when you're done, click OK. And let's go ahead and just click our new duplicated paths and just kind of move it over just so we kind of have this nice little even spread and let's move it over a little bit more and that should be fine all right and there we kind of have our you know our top calligraphic design it looks pretty cool and maybe we can create some variation at the bottom so I'll go back to my pencil tool by hitting N on my keyboard and maybe we can continue to draw this out and create some interesting calligraphics and as you can see this does not take you know a lot of time you know if you mess up just you know undo it and try again you know, I messed up a few times uh, when I was first designing this, so, you know, no big deal. All right, and now that I have my bottom done here, maybe I'll do the same exact thing uh, and, you know, maybe play with it, see what we got. And if, if there's something I don't like, maybe I don't like uh, this one here, maybe I'll just individually select th this color graphic and maybe I'll change the variation to something a little bit different. And maybe I'll select this one here and set it to something a little bit different as well, just because I don't like it, but we'll keep it there. And like before, we'll copy our new color graphics, we'll paste it in place, we'll go up to object, transform, reflect, and flip it over the vertical axis and hold down shift and we'll go ahead and drag this over. And you know, things are looking pretty nice. We got some interesting calligraphic design. If this is a little bit, you know, uh, thick height wise, maybe we can just, you know, kind of shorten it down by a little bit. And maybe what we'll do is continue maybe move these elements over a little bit so we have some room for some text some additional text and then usually what I like to do with this sort of design when we have all these calligraphics all over the place maybe what I like to do is go back to the text title tool and if I want to do a subtitle I like to do something that's not in like a script format maybe I like to do something that's a little bit more sans serif like Gotham and then we can just come here and type our text and I'm going to just type in tutorials and if you want to be really cool what you can do is just put a period there because you know when you do that everyone knows you're legit or something you know it seems to be the style and you'll be like everyone else. And we'll just come here, make this a little bit bigger. And we'll just put tutorials underneath there. And then if we really want, if we want to add like another subtitle, we can copy this and paste it. And maybe come here and we'll type in maybe the name of the website or if you're doing some sort of wedding design, you know, maybe put the venue or really the date. Uh, that's probably smart. Maybe put that like down here or it's just something. It's just an additional title. And maybe we'll just make it a little bit smaller so we can kind of put between our uh, graphics here. Maybe I do need to continue to move uh, this one over a little bit. So if we zoom out here. You know, this is pre pretty much what we have, and we have this nice little calligraphic design. And if you want to learn how you can animate this in After Effects, you can check out our next video that should be coming out this Friday of how we can animate this in After Effects and kind of create like an interesting title design for video or for whatever you're trying to do. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please drop a comment down below. And always be sure to hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the description of this video. And if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button for more tutorials just like this. And if you guys enjoyed the video, please drop a like because it helps me out tremendously. And guys, as always, thank you so much for watching this video. And I hope you have a good day.